Have you finished collecting the Magic Stone's power? You were taking so long, I was about to send somebody to find you. We collected all of the Magic Stone's power, and we found the cause of the Revenants, too. It was the Necromancer, just as we suspected. But while we were fighting the Necromancer... What happened? We used up the Magic Stone's power entirely. Sir Reinhardt's heart isn't responding anymore, and won't absorb any more energy. But we both could have died, and I don't regret using it, no matter the cost. Alisa, I don't intend to question your actions at all. I'm sorry that I couldn't have helped more as your superior. There will be another way. You should return to the village, since the situation here has been resolved. Yes, sir. I can't believe I get to see with my own eyes what happened 150 years ago. Do you know about the Black Knights of the False King? They swore absolute fealty to the False King and followed his commands. They also learned evil arts from that witch, Corinnus. The Black Knights invaded the Talking Isle with a fleet during the False King's War. However, they were eliminated as soon as they set foot on the island. I wanted to know what happened, so I've studied that part of history for a long time. Now, having seen it with my own eyes, I think the evil arts was the catalyst. I discovered traces of the evil arts on the Revenant of the Black Knights. When Corinus was defeated, the evil arts raged out of control. The Death Aura has brought them back, and my long-cherished wish has finally come true.
Sir Valton said it was okay, but what should we do now? I don't know if we can seal Capricus without the Magic Stone's power. Uh, Alyssa? Are you back? <laughs> I keep having nightmares about spiders. <laughs> Selena, are you all right? Is it okay for you to be out already? Shouldn't you rest more? Stay away from my duties for too long. I'm being taken care of. I'll be fine. But I have a favor to ask. I had a guest who was staying here for a few weeks. He was from the mainland and had been postponing his payment. However, there was no sign of him at all after I came back. I went to check his room and collect his overdue payment. But he wasn't there. Only his luggage. And it's a little strange. Could you take a look at it? There are a lot of suspicious things going on. It's strange enough for someone from the mainland to come to the Talking Isle in the first place. Let's go check his room. <laughs> Sometimes chatting is even more relaxing than having a drink. Have you seen the mountain lilies around the graveyard on the North Island? My parents planted them. I can visit my grandmother's grave, but I don't know where my parents... <sighs> it's all I can do to look at those flowers and think of them. Please don't feel sorry for me. What happened, happened. And I'm doing okay for now. Sometimes chatting is even more relaxing than having a drink. It's all meticulously tidied up. So much that it doesn't seem normal for someone staying at an inn. Isn't this way too organized? It almost looks as if he meant to show it to someone. A whip? Why would he carry a whip? This wooden idol is Capricus. Only a zealot would carry such a thing. Here's his journal. I'll read it. Long ago, at the very end of the mainland, on the Talking Isle, the High Demon Capricus was summoned by a great magician. Although he fell into slumber, his awakening is imminent. Only a few dozen more sacrifices remain until that blessed day. I and all the villagers, including this innkeeper, we shall all bow before him. Everyone shall become nutrients for the land on which he shall arise. Embrace the most honorable death for his return!
you will not be spared. The zealots of the mainland have come to the Talking Isle, and this guest was the one who kidnapped Selina. So Capricus's resurrection was almost ready. If Capricus is resurrected again, the villagers, the Red Knights, and the Talking Isle... It'll be the end of us all. I had the power to stop it, and I ruined my chance. Let's not talk about the fact that a guest at the inn kidnapped Selina. Did you check the guest? He was a zealot who worshipped Capricus. <laughs> Selina, I've ruined everything. If I still have... <laughs> Alyssa, it's fine. You saved me, and I'm still here. I made it back safely thanks to the two of you. Selina, thank you. All of your sighing is taking up all the air on the talking aisle. Grandpa Alfred. that things didn't go as planned. Now, do we just sit and wait for Capricus's resurrection and for the Talking Isle to become the land of death? It's easy to get swallowed up by darkness. Many have succumbed to that fearful dark power and have lost themselves. They, too, have struggled many more times than you could imagine but they were still consumed by the power it's all too common and you too may become one of those common sights there'll be more days when you lose your memories days where the power shall overtake you It might be better to return to a place that can protect you than to waste your emotions on fear. Wouldn't you like to just live in safety and comfort? I suppose not. Then find those who will support you. That evil power you hold is too great for any human to withstand. If you try to hold on alone, you will be consumed by it one day. You must already feel it. It's getting harder to endure on your own. If you find those who will support you, you will be able to maintain that power and even wield a far greater power. It feels like this advice comes from personal experience. If I took one thing from what Grandpa said, it's this. No one can overcome everything on their own. We might have lost the Magic Stone's power, but together, I know we can find another way. Oh. Sir Felton said he'd be waiting at the North Island outpost. Let's hurry.
Here they come. I've been waiting for you. We found a way to operate the magic circle with the Talking Isles magic stones. We've managed to restore most of the magic circle as well. It will take some time to set up a complete magic circle, but we will be able to seal Caprica's with it. But Sir Reinhardt and the other Blood Pledge members said the Magic Circle's power alone wasn't going to be enough. Alisa, there is nothing the Red Knights can't accomplish. Sir Reinhardt, those Blood Pledge members, that goes for us too. Yes, sir. Then... We will head for the Talking Owl Dungeon and inform Sir Reinhardt of the situation. Oh no, the way down... Trace! Did you hear that? It's coming from inside. the ritual for Caprica's resurrection. We have to stop them. Oh, great Capricus! Rise above the land made of our own flesh and blood! Finally, I've succeeded! Oh, great Capricus! I have finally... Oh. 
been resurrected. But we still have the magic circle. We should quickly head back to Sir Reinhardt. Hurry up! Back. Did you gather the magic stone's power? Sir Reinhardt, we gathered the power of the magic stones into your heart, but we lost it all while fighting the necromancer. The power which we should have collected for you. However, we were able to restore the magic circle. It may not be much, but it should be able to stall Capricus. I'm sorry. No, don't think of it that way. You wouldn't have been able to fight against Capricus's minions if you didn't use that power. You simply used the power where it needed to be used. And if you restored the magic circle, yes, you should be able to seal Capricus again. Thanks to you and the Red Knights of a new generation, I am able to keep my oath. Thus, I shall give you what I can. The power to seal Capricus along with the magic circle. My very own power. You don't intend to give us your very soul, do you? If you do that, Sir Reinhardt, your soul will vanish completely. My soul was left here for the sole purpose of protecting the Talking Isle from Capricus. It is enough if my soul is used to seal Capricus. This feels like the old days. Back when my Blood Pledge members and I fought together. Although they were buried ages ago, I now have you to act as my Blood Pledge members. Make an oath on the blood flowing through your veins, that you will use my powers to seal away Capricus.
But remember, the oath is eternal. If Capricus returns, the oath shall wake me again. Sir Reinhardt's soul is... Blood Oath does not disappear until the last drop of blood in the body is spilled. This is Sir Reinhardt's soul power. Sir Reinhardt has fallen asleep. Now he looks more comfortable than ever. Let's go defeat Capricus. The seal chamber is downstairs. Uh, the death aura is overpowering. It's numbing my son. I thought there was another way. Let's cut off this death aura first. flowing from that skeleton statue. We've got to stop it. This bridge, it's connected to the seal chamber. That means Capricus is right ahead of us. Sir Reinhardt's soul power to attack Capricus. Gostou do vídeo? Tem muito mais no canal Gameoteca. Te vejo por lá. Um tchau da Luna.